everybody, this is not a spring chicken. Remember, you know, we had talked about election night, or actually election, I, I know, you can't exactly call it election day. Okay, so the election supposedly was over. Election day, or well, let's just say election day, the deadline to vote on, has passed. However, the election is not over. In fact, oh, wait a minute. Didn't they find 3,000 new votes in Florida? Well, it's not the only state. So that's, you know, going to be changing. So for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. Who do you have there? <laughs> I have Bunny Obama. Where'd you get the Bunny from? Actually, it's one of Monty's, it, what happens in Las Vegas does it It's one of Monty's it's, toys? It's one of Monty's kids. She's got a whole bunch of kids. Ah. And it's not its not all over for the Republicans, or it's not all over for the Republicans? Either way. Okay, one way, okay. <laughs> If you listen to the young Republicans who are pissed off at the older Republicans, it's all over. Because in order to win the election, we need to become more like the Democrats, which is never going to happen. Then, you know, we've got to give total, we've got to give amnesty, which is not going to happen. Even the Democrats, Charles Schumer is not preaching amnesty. He said they've got to be made to pay a penalty. And the, uh, the extreme left wants no penalty paid. They just say, oh, you're, you're amnesty. And uh, but uh, then it, it, it's not over because it looks like they're finding, actually, it, it, as they would say, oh, you, you can't say that word, but they're getting s hot loads full of. They know that it's not supposed to be on. You just have to turn the volume down. <laughs> no, it's not supposed to be on. I turn the music off. That thing does okay, get. Okay, that's so close. The music came on all by itself. The music was off. I know. So, but like we were saying before, I got so rudely interrupted by the Christmas music, tree. By the Christmas tree music that um, that they're finding, you know, like he said, they're finding gas pot loads full of votes that were never counted for Republicans and Mitt Romney. Mm -hmm. Mitt Romney may have conceded, but you're looking at a court battle that's going to last for years. An Obama mandate grows. Uh, oh, yeah, now they have a mandate to, uh, to solve the energy. Oh, they want a new energy grid, that's part of the mandate. They want a carbon tax, that's part of the mandate. They uh, basically have, but they did discover the health care thing is not working. They've all of a sudden delayed because of the Obama, okay, you've got to listen. The Supreme Court did not say Obamacare was legal. The Supreme Court said the Congress has a right to levy taxes, hmm. but the, uh, the, and the problem comes is that you cannot sue on a tax until you've been adversely hit by the tax. So until the tax first hits someone, you cannot go back to court. But they're going back to court, challenging every single thing that leads up to it as being unconstitutional. Uh, the Supreme Court ruled that you could not penalize a state for not doing Obamacare, and Obama was trying to penalize states for not doing it. It's all headed back to the Supreme Court, and this time, Roberts is going to go, he's going to do what he did the last time. The taxes are legal. Obamacare isn't legal. The taxes are, Obamacare isn't. So Obama, Which means you get to pay the taxes. And you get the taxes, but you don't get that. And then the health care system is not working anyway. I mean, this morning they're talking about it. In order to reach the Obamacare mandate, you're going to everybody's going to become a part-time worker. They're going to stop full-time workers in order to, to be. You know, no one will work more than 28 hours a week, and they're going to want full pay. And it ain't going to happen, folks. Which is why the unions are trying to get strength right now because they're going to lose millions of jobs in this nation over Obamacare. And rat kill in Galapagos Islands targets 180 million. How the hell? 180 million rats, rats on an island. Galapagos is just a small island. I mean, it's not man that's killing the things, it's the rats that came off of ships that crashed in the area. Uh, so, I mean, uh, the trick is, you, you have to bait rats in a manner that's not going to hurt the wildlife there, you know, because it... Yeah, because if you bait bait the rats and kill them, then something else eats the rat and then the kills them. in rat containers. I mean, you're, there are 180 million rats on a small island. That's, a, golly, know. that sounds like one of those horror movies. That's right. <laughs> oh, gosh. And J Jindal calls Romney's gift 
comments absolutely wrong. Well, Jane was part of those young Republicans that say, what did they say? Jingle's a young Republican? The young Republican, you know, he's in his 30s. They said that in order to survive, we have to become the Democratic Party. Uh, I, I was pointing out the fact that no less than the Pew Institute said the Republicans are younger than the Democrats. The Republicans are more diverse than the Democrats. The Republicans represent the young, you have middle class and small business, which the Democrats don't. The Democrats represent unions, minorities, big business, and, and wealthy people. And you've got to understand, everybody that is uh, everybody that's a supporter of the Democrats always has something written into their into the law that keeps them from being hit by the taxes. Mm -hmm. And Ron Paul, our Constitution has failed. Well, he only said because uh, they said the President of the United States is not leading. The Senate of the United States has totally ignored the. They have a law that says they have to do have to, to have this thing done uh, by a certain time of year. The Senate has not put forth, uh, hasn't even put forth a budget in three years. Well, I don't know if the Constitution is fell, they're just totally ignoring it. They don't care about the ignore. The Constitution is irrelevant to, the, to Barack Obama and the Democrats. They say, you're headed towards what I've been predicting, where it's going to be a, uh, a, a parliamentary type government, where the, the Senate will rule and the House is going to be like the House of Commons that has no authority whatsoever. Ooh. Scathing review of new Gifieri restaurant goes viral. Well, okay, here the problem is, uh, Jay Fiari is not politically correct. Oh, you said it? Yeah. He's a Cajun, and in New Orleans, they have a lot of sugar and a lot of things like that. They said that his restaurant is serving nothing but sugar in the guise of food. It's called Louisiana Cooking, folks. And it, it's just so it's probably hostess. really good. It's why Hostess is going out of business because um, Hostess bakeries and a lot, of, a lot of bakeries like them turn out things that are not approved of by Obamacare. And because they're not approved of by Obamacare, it's going to become too expensive for the stores to purchase them. You can only purchase breads that are going to, uh, that are at a, at a low price that are good for you. If the bread that you like that isn't good for you, you're not going to get a good price. So Obamacare is putting these people out of their jobs. And they're actually going to court to try to seize the company because, well, what did they said? Well, a Wall Street company is running that, and Wall Street doesn't know how to run bakeries. Wall Street knows how to run businesses. They don't want, they did not want to shut Hostess down. But they were forced to shut Hostess down because uh, of Obamacare and his, and his cronies in the union, so. Mm. <laughs> I know, that's why milk is different. Yeah. Regular milk versus non-fat milk for pricing. And Twitter mistakenly reads resets passwords to a large number of users. Oh God, yeah, they thought that oh, what happened? Somebody threw a switch and they took out. As they, they've been re-resetting them the way they were, but if you couldn't get into Twitter, you know the problem we had trying to get Twitter to work. Guess mm -hmm. why? Oh. Because the, uh, the system was broken. Okay. Uh, oh, there is no such thing as a computer that cannot be entered by somebody if they want to. I mean, I have. Spam guards on one of our websites, I'm getting five to 6,000 pieces of spam a day, even though we have the thing to prevent it from happening. And Skyfall draws mixed reviews. Well, it is not the greatest Bond ever. It is. It happened to be Jason Bourne playing James Bond. And it died this week, folks. I mean, Jace, J James Bond playing Jason Bourne? It's Jason Bourne playing James Bond. It totally oh. died this week. I mean, it, uh, it had like an $80 million opening last week. Well... On the, on the preview of Twilight, Twilight did $33 million. Yeah, but do you, do you think they have the same audience for Twilight as they do for Skyfall? Yeah, Jason Bourne's audience. Ah. They, this is not the audience that watched James Bond. This is the audience that watched it. This is the audience that basically liked Matt Damon as Jason Bourne. Did well for Jeremy Reiner, but not they didn't like Jeremy Reiner as much as, Jay, as uh, Matt Damon. So. They're, they're looking at, um, at Daniel Craig to be the new Jason Bourne. Are you serious? That's what it amounts to. Oh. They said that they borrowed a lot from Jason Bourne and Batman. Well, we could see that when we were yeah. watching. But see, here's part of it. Well, anyway. We Batman get it now. did not change the character. Batman was always a solitary person yeah. in the night. He was always brooding. He lost his parents. He saw him get killed. He didn't change the villains in Batman. Didn't change anything in Batman other than they made it a little darker. But if you've got a dark character, you make it darker, you haven't really changed it. Yeah. And the top 100 brands on Google Plus have a total audience of 23 million. 
I, I know. That's okay. That's really not that great, folks. That's really bad. Uh, I you, I know people on 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 some of these social things that have that by themselves. I don't do Google Plus because Google Plus is a total and absolute disaster. You can't get the stuff off your cell phone if you have an email on it. And California to stop arresting people for parole violations to state to save the state money. Yeah, uh, what? which means if you're a criminal and you don't bother to, if you you know if you're a criminal, you're on uh, on parole, and you you just jump. You you're just not going to be paid attention to anymore because they get rid of the parole officers that way. Oh my gosh! And a Monty bubble is in from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Oh, I like this one. The the. The, the simple is easy to do, the harder is often harder to do. And it does make sense if you just did what we did. <laughs>